Unlock the power of AI upscaling. Supercharge your videos with free upscaling using stable diffusion and flow frames. Hey, video enthusiasts, are you tired of your content looking like it's stuck in the past? Well, you're in luck. Join us on a journey where we unlock the magic of upscaling and take your videos to a whole new dimension. To kickstart this journey, we assume you've got Stable Diffusion up and running. If you haven't installed it yet, no worries. You can find a link in the description to our step-by-step -step guide for Windows users. Next, we'll make use of the NextView extension for Stable Diffusion. It's a handy tool to effortlessly transform videos into image sequences and vice versa. To install this extension, go to the Extensions tab and click on Install from URL. Next, paste the official GitHub link, which is provided in the description and press Install. After the installation is finished, head to the Installed tab and click on Apply and Restart UI. Quick note, ensure you have FFmpeg installed. For installation instructions, click the link in the description. Assuming you already have your video ready, the first step is to transform it into a sequence of images. And here's where the next view extension comes into play. Simply drag and drop your video into the Video to Image Sequence section and press Generate Image Sequence. When your video has been processed, you will find the Image Sequence location at the bottom. Copy this location by clicking the Copy button and then open the folder by pressing on the folder icon. We will be using this later. Before we start upscaling the entire video, it's crucial that we do some testing first. If you don't, you might end up wasting a lot of time and have to restart. Head to the Extras tab inside your Automatic 1111 interface, and on the Single Image tab, upload any frame from the folder we just opened with the NextView extension. Next, set Resize to your preferred value. I recommend starting with resizing two times. For Upscaler 1, we have a few different options, this is the model that will be used by the AI Upscaler. Stable Diffusion comes with a lot of default models. I will use RS Argin 4X Plus. This is one of the best default upscalers if you're going for realism. But if your video is more of an anime style, I suggest you select the anime version. You can also download a lot of other good upscale models from OpenModelDB. This is a database with a lot of high quality upscale models. I suggest checking it out after watching this video. Now probably the most important step is the face restoration. If your video does not feature faces in it, you can skip this part. There currently are two options for the face restoration, GFP GAN and Codeformer. We will make use of Codeformer since it gives us more control, it's faster, and in my opinion, it's just overall a better option. To start off, I suggest setting the visibility to 0.75 and the weight to 0.25. Now we press generate and wait a few seconds. If you sense that the face stands out in terms of quality compared to the rest of the image, you can fine-tune the visibility and weight settings to achieve a perfect result. Just keep in mind that the code former weight is reversed, meaning that zero is the maximum effect and one is the minimum effect. Once you're satisfied with the outcome of your single frame, we can begin upscaling the entire image sequence. To do this, navigate to the Batch from Directory tab. For the Input directory, simply paste your image sequence location that you copied earlier. For the Output directory, I recommend you create an empty folder anywhere on your PC. I will create mine in the Extras Images folder, so I can locate it easily. And then paste the path of the folder here. The settings that we used on our single image will be copied over, so we don't need to adjust those. Now you're all set to hit Generate. The time this takes may vary depending on the number of frames and the speed of your GPU. So sit back, relax, and maybe subscribe to the channel if you found this video helpful so far. When the upscaling of your image sequence is complete, we can start the process of merging the individual frames back into a video. For this, we will use the Next View extension once again. Head to the Next View tab but this time we will use the right side of the extension, Image Sequence to Video. Paste the folder location with your upscaled images in the Image Sequence location. Next, set the frames per second to match your original video. This can be found in the Result Information, or by going to the properties of your original video and going to Details, 
Now press Generate Video. Congratulations, you have successfully scaled up your video. And now for the grand finale. To supercharge your video further, we're going to interpolate our video with flow frames. It's optional, but it can really take your videos to the next level. You can download flow frames for free with the link provided in the description. Once you've downloaded the installer, open it and select all the default options for the installation. For an in-depth written tutorial, you can visit our website. Here we upload these amazing tutorials before they appear on YouTube. So go check it out after this video. After the installation is finished, go to the Interpolation tab. For Interpolation AI, select Rife. If you have an NVIDIA GPU, select the NVIDIA-only version. For your input video, click Browse Video and choose your upscaled video. Select a folder for the output directory, then paste the path here or just leave it at the default path. When configuring output FPS and speed, I recommend to go with X2 or X3 and select normal speed. All that's left is to click Interpolate at the bottom left corner and flow frames will work its magic. The first time might take a bit longer as it downloads the Interpolation AI. If you don't want to download an external program to interpolate, you can also use DeForum's built-in frame interpolation feature. Since you already know how to install extensions inside Stable Diffusion, I will skip the installation progress. When you open the DeForum tab, go ahead and select Output. Now at the bottom of the window, frame interpolation will appear. For the engine, select Rife. I suggest unchecking the Keep Images box since we won't be needing this anyway. Now upload your video on the left side and click Interpolate Video. You may have noticed DeForum also has a built-in video upscaling feature, but I've noticed it lacks a lot of quality and features like face restoration and resizing to your own preferences. Now let's reveal the results. Your video has seen a dramatic transformation. With increased frames per second and enhanced details, the difference is crystal clear. We've taken you from a standard video to an upscaled masterpiece. With stable diffusion, flow frames, and our expert guidance, you've harnessed the power of AI to elevate your videos, all for free. So go ahead and share your enhanced content with the world. You're now a master of upscaling. If you found this video enlightening, you might like this video too. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more amazing content. And if you have any questions or suggestions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Stay tuned for more amazing tutorials. Until next time.